You absolutely need it in your life. It's one of the best, best kept secrets of Unique. Um, okay, so I wanted to talk to you. If somebody's there, can you guys like um, either say something or either say something or do a heart or something? I don't know if this this whole stuff's working. This is driving me nuts with the lies. I don't know if anybody's even here. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Swipe. What's it say? Swipe left to reveal. Okay. 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 I've got hearts. I see hearts now. All right. So, um, hey guys, you guys caught me right out of the shower and I was in the shower and a lot of times, um, hey, beautiful Carla. Hey, Courtney. I can see you guys. Um, okay. So a lot of times, I don't know if you guys are like this at all. I love to do thinking in the shower. Like I have some of my most brilliant thoughts for myself in the shower. Um, so anyway, so I was taking a shower tonight early because um, I have to get up really, 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 really early for work tomorrow, way earlier than usual. And I'm like, well, I'm going to go ahead and, and at least wash my hair and do my hair and stuff. So I don't have to like do that part tomorrow and I can just pop in the shower um, without doing my hair. So anyway, so I thought, you know, what? as I was thinking in the shower, I thought, you know what, I'm going to share this with y'all because this is so incredibly important. And that is, you know, how it is so important for you to believe in yourself. And I'll tell you why. Um, when you believe in yourself, you know, when you, when you figure a way, somehow find a way. And if you don't believe in yourself right now, um, you know, contact me. I can help you think of ways that I, why I believe in you. But, you know, do personal development. I can't tell you guys enough how important personal development is. Um, you know, anytime you feel like you're stuck, anytime that you're in a rut, anytime you feel like, you know, you're not promoting fast enough or you're not getting enough sales or people aren't, well, you know, all these little things that happen, all these little roadblocks that, that get in the way of, you know, our, our vision, our, our dream, um, all these little obstacles. When you work on your personal development, that's why I always say personal development every single day, it helps take care of some of that stuff. It kind of weeds some of that stuff out of your mind. Um, because when you have a negative toxic thought in your mind and then you put a positive thought in there, the positive pushes that negative out. So anytime you feel like you're stuck or anything, please pop on a little five minute personal development video and it's going to go wonders. It'll do wonders for you um, because all that negative stuff isn't going to help you. It's not going to get you anywhere, not in, in your personal life, not in your business, not anywhere. Um, so the reason, so anyways, the video is about um, believing in yourself and why it's that important. So when you believe in yourself and you, you know, decide that you are going to want to make a business of this. And this is, I'm, I'm talking tonight strictly about your business, not necessarily, you know, yourself personally, although it kind of all goes hand in hand. But when you, you know, you decide, you know what, I am going to do this. I am going to go for green. Let's just use that as an example. Cause I know a lot of times people think green is so far off or green is so hard to get. And, um, and it is a challenge, but it's not something that, that you can't achieve. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Sometimes it takes a little bit more work. Sometimes it takes, um, doing a few things. Sometimes it takes, you know, getting your whole team behind you and doing it together. And, um, and a lot of that has to do with relationship building. And a lot of that has to do with believing in yourself that you can do it. And then believing in your team that they can do it and believing that you all can do this together. Um, so what happens is when you decide that you're going to go for something, right? Um, or, or whatever it is, or you're going to get a sale or a sponsorship or whatever it is. Anything that anybody says to you is not going to affect you the same way when you believe. Um, because there is, um, when you have doubts, when you have that negative stuff going on in your head, that's why, I'm, again, I'm going to say it again, because it's super, super important. Hey, good, good evening, you guys. Um, personal development is huge. If you're not doing it every single day, um, if you're not listening to a video, I know a lot of times people don't have time to read. I've got a ton of books. I want to read them all. I don't. I, I, I buy a gazillion books and then they, you know, I start to read them and then I get distracted. I'm a much better listener than I am a reader. But um, every day I get in my car 
Um, actually, when I'm getting ready in the morning, I listen to something. And then when I get in my car, I don't listen to music all the time. A lot of times on my way into work, I will listen into personal development. Um, and it just helps me. It helps me start my day off. It makes me feel better. It makes me feel good. And, um, you know, I, all, all those, you know, overnight little negative things that go through your mind kind of go away, you know? So when, anyway, so getting back on track. So when you believe and you work on your personal development where you start building that strong um, mindset, that super strong mindset, when you have people make comments to you, and they will, and you have people um, tease you or joke around with you, um, it doesn't affect you the same way. It doesn't affect you. Because I, I remember when I first started out before I knew anything about personal development, I remember thinking to myself, when somebody would make a comment, I like I truly wanted to shut down. I wanted to shut down, and I don't know if any of you guys feel the same way or if, if you guys have ever experienced this, but I have always been someone who really worried about what people thought about me. And, um, you know, I would do a post or do a video or whatever, and then I would see somebody and they would kind of tease me or whatever. And then I'd go home and I'd be like, oh my gosh, I can't do this business. This business is not for me. People, you know, think I'm a fool, you know, um, I go through all this stuff in my mind, you know, cause I'm letting all that negative chatter get in my mind. And I didn't have, I hadn't built, um, a strong mindset at that point. And it's a funny thing. So when you start building that strong mindset, what happens is people, when people start saying those things, my mindset changed. So I would have that same person, um, tease me, you know, a year later when I'd see, see them again a year later. And it was a family member, by the way. They tease me like a year later. You know, oh my gosh, you post so many selfies, you know, or whatever. Um, whatever it is, I had something to come back with them. You know, I said, because I believed in what I was doing and I believed in myself. And I said, you know what? If my selfies can make one person feel better about themselves, feel more comfortable about loving themselves, then I, whoops, sorry. Then I am doing my job, you know, or if they said something, oh gosh, sorry, sorry, I lost you guys. Um, or if they made a comment about how often I post, I would say, thank you. You know, you just go right back at them. I say, thank you so much. Um, I am doing my job if you are noticing my posts, you know. Um, and then what happened is, is fast forward, because we, we see him once a year. Fast forward one more year. So the first year I saw him, he teased me really bad. And I wanted to go crawl in a hole. And I was so embarrassed. And I honestly wanted to throw in the towel and stop my business over this one person um, who was who is my family, who, you know, who cares about me. Um, and the reason I'm saying this is because not everybody gets it. Not everybody is okay with seeing other people try to be the best they can be. Um, a lot of people struggle with that because either they're stuck where they are and they just don't know how to deal with it. So what happens is they tend to want to make you feel bad about it. So you stop and it makes them feel good in their mind. And that's not how it works at all. So anyway, so the first year, he made me want to crawl in a hole, give up my business, throw, throw in the towel. And at that point, when I saw him, I'm pretty positive I was not green at that point. We were not a green team yet. Um, I'm pretty positive it was because it was over the summer and we hit green in September. So, yeah, we were not even green yet. So, um, we had, I don't know, I don't remember how many people we had on our team at that, that point. But I was just going to, like, give it all up. And think about it. If I would have done that, look at this. I wouldn't have know. Probably the majority of y'all, if that was the case, I wouldn't, you know, get to a point where, where I am in, in my business um, and in our life. And I wouldn't be to a point where I've been able to meet you all. And I wouldn't be to a point where I have the confidence that I have even now more than I had three years ago, you know, three and a half years ago, or it was three years ago, pretty much when he said it. So then the second year, um, he said it. And, you know, of course I had been working on personal development and um, I came back at him you know, and I felt stronger and I felt good. You know, I was kind of like, at first when I said it, I was like, oh gosh. And then I thought, you know what? No, I'm going to sit here and stand up for what I do. And I'm good because I do believe in what I'm doing. I believe in the purpose of what I'm doing. So I'm going to stand up for myself. And then the third year, just so you know, the third year, um, when he came, when we saw him, I want you to know he did not make fun of me. Not one time. He actually told me, you're so successful. 
I am so proud of you. So you can not only, when you make your mindset stronger, not only can you help and fix yourself, you can actually change the way other people see you. And people go from maybe not having that confidence in what you're doing, or maybe they're, like I said, maybe they can't deal with you trying to strive to be better. And you can change their mindset to where they start believing in you as much as you believe in you. You know, and I hear it all the time now. I never have people, never have people tease me anymore about the business that I'm in and the selfies that I post and the videos that I do and, or any of that. No one ever says one word to me other than, oh my gosh, you're killing it in this business, you know? And that is honestly because I, I just, I constantly work on my mindset. Listen, there are days, I'm not going to lie to you guys. There's days that I doubt what I'm doing. You know, I doubt what I'm doing as a leader. Um, I doubt what I'm doing. Um, with our team, I doubt what I'm doing in my own business, even though I have a successful personal sales business. Um, I still doubt it, you know? Um, I, I do. I doubt it. I, I'm, I'm no different than you guys. The difference is that um, for some of you that haven't gotten to the point where I am mentally, um, when I have those thoughts, you know, I get them out um, and then I do something with personal development so that I grow and I become stronger and I don't let that negativity affect me, you know, in my mindset and because toxic, it becomes so toxic. I can't begin to tell you guys, you know, you are your own worst enemy. You know, it is not the people that are saying things to you. It is not the people that are making fun of you. It is not the people that are making you doubt yourself. Those are not the people that are doing it. You are doing it to yourself. You are doing it to yourself because you're not working on yourself enough. <sighs> Sorry, I almost dropped you guys again. Um, you're not working on yourself enough. And I mean that with all the love in the world because I know when you do, I know how it's going to make you feel because I was there and I still am there. I still have those times, but it's so important. I can't stress to you guys enough how much personal development is going to help you get through the ruts, the times that people tease you, the times that people make you doubt yourself, the way when you doubt yourself, when you doubt this business, when you doubt the process, um, you know, this isn't an easy business, but I will tell you one thing. When you get to every single level that you want to get to, when you accomplish every little thing that you accomplish, you are going to be so freaking proud of yourself. And I guarantee you it's going to be prouder than you were at whatever job that you had before or anything that you've ever done before in your life. Because it is self-fulfilling achievements and it is victories and it is things that you just are going to have pride. And that's why I always say when you guys reach colors, when you guys get to a point that you are pushing so hard and you're reaching pink and you're reaching blue and I've done it with you guys and green and orange and I want you guys to hit purple and I want you guys to hit black. Um, when you hit these colors, you will be in tears. <laughs> you're going to be in absolute tears. And the, the longer that you're with this business and the more you grow a team and the more you work on, on your re relationship within your own teams, and um, it makes it easier to hit these colors. It makes it easier to promote. It makes it easier for your business to grow. Um, and it makes everything, I mean, listen, I'm just going to say right now, go back three and a half years ago. I would have never thought at that point. Um, I wanted green so bad. I wanted our team to hit green so bad and we were struggling to hit it, you know, cause we, the summer months are always super, super slow. And, um, I remember thinking, gosh, are we ever going to be a green team? We hit pink right away. We hit blue right away. And then all of a sudden we stalled. And, um, I remember thinking, is it going to ever happen? And now fast forward, you know, sticking with it, growing, 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 working on myself, working on our team, helping other people be successful. Now we hit pink usually the first day of the month. We hit blue the second or third and the green we hit anywhere usually between the fifth and the 10th. So to think that there was a time that I didn't even think green was a possibility for our team, not because I didn't believe in our team or us. It just seemed like it was so hard to hit. Um, now it, it's something that we hit every single month. So, um, and that's, I'm only saying that because I want it to be something that transfers to you so that you understand and you believe and you see the importance of building a team, um, and how that can help you in your business. Now I will say one other thing, and I'm not going to make this super long tonight, but I will say one other thing. Um, when you guys are going after sponsoring, when you're trying to, to work on your recruiting, um, you've got to be passionate about what you're doing. You have to be passionate about what you're doing. You've got to believe in yourself and the purpose and the mission and, you know, everything, you know, um, because it will, 
when you are, um, oh, my girls are playing behind me. Um, it will, the energy that you put out, that vibe, that vibration, um, if you're a high vibration, if you're super excited and super passionate about what you're doing, um, and you love your, you know, what you're doing, people are going to feel that and they're going to want to be a part of that. If you're, if you go into it with a mindset, again, mindset, mindset's everything in this business. If you go into it with a mindset of, oh my gosh, I can't sponsor. Nobody's going to want to join my team. Nobody's going to want to be a part of this. I'm just sorry to say this, but they're not, they're not going to join you. It's because you've already talked them out of it by your, by your vibe before they even had a chance to look at it. Okay. So work on yourself, work on your mindset, believe in yourself, know that you are an incredible leader and you would, I mean, if you are the type of person that wants to help other people, there is no reason that you can't sponsor someone and help somebody. All you have to do is sit here and reach out and do it with them. And if you aren't completely confident in everything with the business, it's okay. You have a, you have another support system in Lila's. And if you have other uplines that have um, team pages as well, you have that as well. You are surrounded. You've got university. You have um, the weekly courses in the back office that help. You've got YouTube videos. Um, you know, you have all this support and you can be honest with them and say, listen, let's do this together. But building a team is huge for you and that's where you're going to get to where you need to get to because your personal sales are only going to take you so far. So anyway, um, I hope you guys have an amazing night. I just wanted to jump on and tell you what I was thinking about when I was in the shower and that was about how important your mindset is and how important it is for you guys to believe in yourself. I want you guys to be super successful. I want you guys to absolutely surpass everything that I do. And, um, and I just want you to know how proud I am of you. I, I'm proud to know you. I'm incredibly honored to have you on our team. You're such a significant part of, of what makes up Lilas. And I am super grateful to have you in my life.